Welcome back to part nine, behind the scenes of building our mock modular building in 30 days. We are back for another episode. As always, we are doing daily uploads, shorts and long form videos. The long form being behind the scenes, the shorts being the previews, the trailers. Then you can also find us on Instagram with more reels as well. We are covering from start to finish of building a mock modular building and boy is it more difficult than we ever expected if you've been following along with us so far up into this point we have managed to get to the third level of our building but today we kind of wanted to take a step back today we were kind of our, our brain is being wrecked because there's so many things going on with this modular building that we decided to say you know what let's step away for a day and let's work on some other stuff and then when we come back, maybe it'll spur some more interest, some ideas. So today, I wanted to work on some details that are going within the building. Now, if, you, if you've been following us up to this point, you'll notice we've kept the interiors somewhat bare. Uh, the, the first floor, the bar obviously has tables, booths, the bar. But the second floor, that's where things start to, to just be floors, just be exteriors. And... I know a lot of people do have mocks that are just like that. They're just exteriors and there's nothing on the inside. And I've got nothing against that. I, in fact, I probably will do one of those in the very near future where I don't worry about the inside at all because it does tend to really drive that price up when you're ordering pieces. You're, you're talking hundreds of dollars potentially. So I 100% plan on doing just an exterior mock later. But for now, I kind of wanted to say... You know what let's take a, a a look on the interior and let's see what we can do to add it and make it more make it look nicer so the first thing i wanted to do was add the back side of a bar now in my head i always pictured a mirror just like in assembly square where they have the dance studio i love how they have that mirror but i was not able to find that piece so i i went to the next best option in my opinion and i was building a shelf unit that is going to be built into the wall and it's going to kind of hold the alcohol for the patrons and the way i did this instead of going back into the actual build i built it on the side and i did that for a couple reasons one because i didn't want to tear things apart and lose my place and then get completely lost and have to spend tons and tons of time going back in and fixing it but then i also did it because it's going to provide me with extra pieces not a ton of extra pieces but some extra pieces just in case I need more. So those are the two schools of thought that I had when it came to designing ex interior details on the outside. And as I started building this, you know, I realized that I'm not very good at building shelves. And I'm also realizing more and more the difficulties of building mock buildings. And it's giving me a completely higher appreciation for these Lego masters, these Lego builders, that build all from just what's going on in her head. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I am learning so much about this process that I hope to then do a second mock build to where I can apply those things that I've learned into building a second one. But for today's episode, you know, we really just built a couple shelves. We built on the second floor, we're thinking maybe like a cigar bar. So I kind of wanted to build a fancy kind of tall, with a glass window where you can kind of see the laid out uh, cigars and other types of cigar uh, cigar bar or whatever you would find in those. I actually have never been into a cigar bar, so I wouldn't know, but I'm just trying to use my imagination to create what I think would be an upscale type of sitting environment that's not in a bar where you're, you know, you're kind of drinking the scotches, seven cigars, business meetings, that sort of thing. So a classy establishment. So that's kind of what we focused on today. And then I kind of realized like, you know what? I don't think we have lights underneath that, that overhang from the second floor over the patio. So I kind of went back and started doing those. And that was a big mistake on my part where I'm going back to do things for a number of reasons. One, because it's way more difficult to go back and, and fix things. But two, also because it's then creating out of order builds, which is going to infect the overall instructions if you decide to get those. So bad idea on my part. I admit that. But I did want to at least get those there 
and I wasn't too concerned about where I put them because ultimately when I build this thing for real, I'll be able to move those around as I want. So I just wanted to get the pieces in there so that way they are applied to the piece count when I order them and then a general idea of what I was thinking because I don't know how long it's going to take these pieces to arrive and if I'm not looking at this every single day, I may start to forget things and this is just a way to kind of keep my memory sharp to where when these things come, I will know exactly what I had in mind and where to put those. So that's really what we covered today on 30 days to build a mock modular building for our Lego city. And this was day nine behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm having so much fun. I'm loving the feedback that you guys are giving me. So keep it up. In fact, take it to another level. I absolutely love reading your comments. I love reading your ideas. I love interacting with you. And it means the world to me that you guys are enjoying this as well because I'm having a ton of fun. I can't wait to get these pieces in and start building this thing. And we are getting close to that. In a few days, I think we're going to start building this thing. And that makes me really, really excited. So I hope it gets you excited as well. So I just wanted to say thank you so much again for your continued support. Like this video, comment down below, and definitely hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. We got some big stuff in store. So stay creative, and we will see you tomorrow.